Good morning. Okay, here we are out here on the maintenance shop foundation. This is the one we had sonar. This is the one we drilled and did the probing and all that. As my wife told me, she said, that was kind of boring. Yeah, it was boring. It ain't no fun just sitting there probing a rod down this, in, in the ground. But if you hit something, it's anything but boring. It gets exciting real quick. Okay, so we don't want that as a kind of excitement. So here we are. Let's look at what we got going on. Here we are looking at the blueprints to the foundation of the maintenance shop. And what we're looking at right here, um, we got to drill these pillars right here. They go down about nine foot. They go down about nine foot. The beam is two and a half foot deep. So they're going to be about seven foot below that. Uh, what we're watching out for is this power line here. There's a power line here and there's a storm line here that we located. And this video is to show you what we went through to locate it so we would know. Now, speaking of talking about the pillars and the pylons, this is what we're doing. We're doing a shaft with a bell footing. The bell footing spreads out. It's 14 inches by 42, so that means the shaft's 14 inches. The bell's 42. It's 16 by 48. Uh, that's the two sizes. Here's the connections that will go below the grade beams. So this is what we're working on, and this is what this video is about to show you how the sonar came in the sonar located then we had to go behind the sonar and find out what it was seeing to make sure we don't drill with one of these in there and hit something with this being in a tank farm um it could be very very bad this is the drill and you can see the outfit you got a bobcat you got a dinosaur neck to it and on and they'll drill then they'll come up and they'll use this tape switch bits and they'll use this bell bit right here and that's a pretty neat little thing right here see how the arms see how the arms shoot out well after he drills he'll drop this down in there and them arms fold up in there like this one right here they are folded up in there until they hit the bottom once they hit the bottom they spring out they go around and they cut the bell on the bottom pretty neat pretty neat there's everybody to look at it some of y'all machinists go damn i want to build that some things are about 4500 bucks a piece Everybody seen a hole in the ground? But that hole right there, they take good money to get that in there. So we got there, here, down there. We're getting it. We'll be pouring here before too long to get to see how that process is. such a standard practice down here with this soil that this company that's all they do is drill i think they got four of these outfits four teams out every day just drilling you can see how quick the drilling goes
Yeah, ho. Now what I didn't put on video, this thing had a base on it. So everywhere you see he's drilling, we took the mini excavator over there, broke it up, and then repacked it in. Not packed it, just put it back in there. So we could do this. Uh, he wouldn't have been able to drill through the that base. It was just too hard.
he represents the company. They make sure they get what they paid for. Everybody covers everybody. That's a good thing. Now, when it's in the hole, that's what it's going to do. Come back out and get him to do it one more time. Teeth go out, and it spreads. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Gives you a bell bottom on the side. Thanks, Wildo. Take the concrete, gonna fill up the bottom so far. Then we're gonna set the cage in there and kind of dance it in. Alright, gonna cut the chute. Cage is gonna go in. Now what you gotta do is keep that cage three inches off can't be within three inches of the dirt anywhere if so it'll start rusting cause rust jack and blah 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 all the bad stuff that happens so you pump a little in the bottom to give us some support if you look down in here the reason we know how far to go you see that little yellow tag down there right there that wasn't smoke we got to pump concrete that high that's how we mark it here Come over here. See that right there? Concrete down there. See how it's centered around? That's what we gotta do. Now we're gonna fill it up. Now what he's gonna do? These guys are gonna hold it off the wall. So that concrete don't move it around. have a trouble here. Big old boy to get to get stuck up. I don't have nothing heavy here. Come on, baby. Come on. Right there. Good God Almighty. Talk about a tractor pull. Good God Almighty. Good.
When you forget your test cylinders, mm -hmm. but you got to come up, that's a PVC, shove it down in the ground, fill them up, works great for test cylinders. Well, that's the end of video part two. Next, we will be doing gray uh, beams and trenches, getting ready to set up for the concrete pour that we'll do for the building. Uh, we'll follow that through. So everybody hit the like button and subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video.